I would have been a good mother. I was young, but I would have been a good mother. She was a girl, by the way, the baby. We were going to call her Sarah. Simon wanted to call her Ava after his nana, but I didn't want her to have a symmetrical name. <laughs> Some spite there. Oh, it was with an H. Yeah, but I wanted to see if that would come up stuff too. Oh, it, it is really specific in its verbatimness. Hmm. Hmm. You look up a mum. I tried a oh, mum. Because it's. Because <laughs> that's, uh -huh. that's the country for it. Yep. Yeah, when I was at school. I work part-time in the front shop. I'm a sort of an extended family thing. My dad used to work there, my mom worked there before I was born. Oh, I took care of paperwork, filing, typing out invoices, that kind of thing. It was a good job for a girl back then. I didn't work a till or anything, but I was quite shy, so I wouldn't have liked to have worked a till. Okay. I didn't really get anything, did you? No. She has a bruise still, but it's... it's. That's the same shirt, so it's the same day as the bruise. Uh, She's the one that's supposed to have a bruise. No. Yeah? Oh, yeah, it's blue, it's blue mom yeah. shirt. Okay. It's the it's uh, the, the diner waitress. Get up. Mom and Dad have never had any reason to notice. Like they Chloe's mom. <laughs> if Hannah was eating a lot, they didn't mind. She didn't put on any weight. That girl has a healthy appetite. Um, if they heard us talking in the attic, they just thought it was Hannah playing one of her games. And that Eve was our imaginary friend. <laughs> Once, she was already up and dressed and ready to go to school and I snuck down for a piss. Mum saw me in my underwear, she went mad. Get dressed this instant! So I ducked into our bedroom. <laughs> and seconds later, out came Hannah, dressed and ready. They were hiding from their own parents? This is logistically no. not so. Their own parents don't know that there were two people. That girl has an a healthy appetite. Because they would take up, mo they, they they would take up food. food for two people. But they said something like they would take up for food for two people but they wouldn't gain weight because it's two people eating it so they were like oh, I guess we don't have to worry about it she's clearly fine and also maybe this is why they forgave her when she blamed the problem on Anna on Eve cause she, on Eve because she blamed her the she she blamed her whole outburst thing that she did on her imaginary friend you should can you play that one more Time. I have something about what she said makes me think it's three people. Mum and Dad had never had any reason to notice. They were always busy. If Hannah was eating a lot, they didn't mind. She didn't put on any weight. That girl has a healthy appetite. Um, if they heard us talking in the attic, they just thought it was Hannah playing one of her games. And that Eve was our imaginary friend. <laughs> Once she was already. So she's dead, saying so we. Then, to go to school and okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're both Hannah and they're both Eve. Well, it's because she's role-playing as also being the other half of, of Hannah, who is the public-facing persona. Yeah. But she would talk, but because Hannah would talk to Eve, they had to explain that Eve was her imaginary friend, and that's who she's talking to. Yeah, but she said something like, like the way she phrased it was confusing yeah. to me. Like, e that Eve was our a, that imaginary friend. Hmm. That's fucking weird. Yeah, so they're not related. Because obviously parents would know. What the fuck is their deal then? They're just friends. Are the friends that look the same. <laughs> What's the name of that town I mentioned before? Do you remember? What? Okay, I don't search anything and this comes up. Click. That's weird. <laughs> A black coffee, thanks. <laughs> no sugar. Sweet enough as it is. Oh. Shucks. Okay. Oh. What? 
Oh, is this just plain order now? This is the chronological order of the first. So these are the first five, chronologically. So first she orders a drink, and then she introduces herself. And this is June 18th, which is probably the earliest date. So we can say that the the blue blazer is the first interview out of all of them. Mm -hmm. uh, which which is one with this one, I guess. That's when they did the timeline. Was during the blue blazer interview. So, job he didn't show that this morning. It just isn't like him at all. So that that's the one. So that that's the. So this is the day she comes to the police. Mm -hmm. That's the first time. So she orders a coffee, introduces herself, and so on. Hmm. Did they order coffee differently? <laughs> Black coffee, thanks. No sugar. Sweet enough as it is. Mm. Back eight years back. No, oh, it's different. It was a present to myself. Oh, there you go. I shouldn't even be drinking coffee with the baby. It's been hard trying to give it up. I think they say you can have one cup. Damn. Look at you not caring about the rules. So she got the tattoo eight years ago. So she's pregnant right now. She's pregnant right now. Because because she has the hospital alibi. No. I've had enough coffee for today, thanks. Glass of water. Uh she just that might, be a, that might be a clue where every time one of them has coffee, it's Hannah. No, and if they no. have water, it's Eve. Uh, Yeah, that might be a clue. Because there is water. And that's the one we think is Eve, and she has water. <laughs> it's a plot point. The coffee is actually a plot point. Because she had the coffee oh my at the gosh. beginning and has water. Wait, or maybe not. I don't know. Wait, 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 no, yeah, wait, she's wait, all, wait, 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 that's wait, wait. a tattoo lady, yeah. Yeah, but so look, she but she doesn't have the tattoo there. I think it's just tilted. Are you sure? Yeah. No. Well, I don't know. Oh, yeah, there yeah, it is. Okay. There's a tattoo. Gotcha. Yeah. That's a pl and then, yeah, waitress lady has a, has a coffee. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's funny. Coffee, I guess. Milk and sugar. Milk and sugar. Is that a new costume? I didn't see that one yet. Or is that, that the same? July 2nd. Yeah. She's wearing a black top. It's not blazery. It's, it's just like, like a navy shirt. Blue. Like this one's like this one's like ruffly and it's like it's got like texture and like body to it, and this thing's just like form fitting. Mm-hmm. It's the day after. It's the day after the blue, uh, the tattoo reveal shirt. This is one day later. Hmm. Same room. Hmm. 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 And she and she orders coffee. Yeah. So that's Hannah. I've never seen her before, though. That that day's that day of her. So I have no idea where we go for that. Does this move when I click on something else? No. No. The, hmm. the yellow keeps moving, but it's not based on what I most recently watched. Maybe it's the most recent new thing I watched. I um, don't know. It's weird. Oh, it moved. Oh, you, see, you just refreshed it. That's weird. Oh. Oh, so it is based on that. You just have to refresh it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You just have to refresh it. They're right, because I, I didn't close it. Okay. What's... Uh... We're so focused on the sister differentiation that I keep forgetting fucking Simon's dead. <laughs> yeah. Parents. I got pregnant. Both our parents had a big powwow. We weren't even in the room. And they decided we should get married. Hmm. I got pregnant. Oops, I didn't actually click apparently. Yes. I inherited it from my parents, so it made sense to move back. Me and Simon. Felt like going back to old ways before the pregnancy. 
reminded me of being a girl, a dollhouse in the attic, old things. We didn't sleep in my parents' bedroom for a long time. We decorated it as soon as we moved in, but it was another year before we started sleeping there. Hmm. They moved into the house of their dead parents. But I want to go back to their story of misbehaving. Now there's too many instances of parents. Was it Gloucester? Where they from? No, no, it was um. Mm. Oh, I should search Eve. Look at Bob Dylan. Oh, you're right, Bob Dylan. You're a genius. Twelve I, results. I love you, Bob Dylan. The police station. Funny. Pinch because we were so young, so he told the police. So they came to pick us up. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't come up anymore. Hmm. Um. Bedroom. Ooh, all Ooh, right. Scandalous. In the bedroom. <laughs> okay. Thanks, asshole. <laughs> Where they had their pregnancy. That can't be right. In the bedroom. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> uh... Why are you doing this to me, you asshole? This one's a minute. Okay. I parked up in the street. It was busy, so I had to park down the end of the road. Walked up, knocked on the door, no answer. I took my keys out of my bag and unlocked the door. The main lock was unlocked. You can tell because the key doesn't turn when you try to turn it to the left. I walked in. Simon's coat wasn't on the peg. I couldn't see his shoes in the shoe rack. I shouted out. Um, I walked straight into the kitchen because he usually sits in there to have a cup of tea and read his paper, but he wasn't there. I touched the kettle, it was cold. I looked quickly in the living room, nothing. <laughs> so I walked upstairs to the bedroom and he wasn't there. I didn't search for him because it was pretty clear he wasn't wow, there. Wow, she's verbatim. The phone rang whilst I was in the shower. I didn't answer it. I think it was Eric. Then I was just exhausted. So I lay down on the bed and I fell asleep, though I didn't mean to. I woke up a couple of hours later and I was surprised to see no one in the bed next to me. And then I remembered where I was and what had happened. That's when Eric called again. This time I spoke to him. Then I called Vagan Elena. And then I decided mm. to come and see you. Dana. Okay. That story is fake. No, she gave the exact same story yeah. as the other one, but she said that his, his parents' name this time. She, instead of saying, and then I called his parents. Yeah, but she, she said, says, like, the identical story, though, which makes me think, like... They have it rehearsed. Yeah, which makes me think that they she both doesn't know. killed Simon. Yeah. That they're both in on it, and they rehearse their alibi so they can both say it verbatim. Because it's like creepily practiced. It's, it's, it's like specific. the... Like, like I, I quickly looked into the kitchen. I, I quickly looked at the living room before I went upstairs. Like, so nothing, I, that, felt like nothing. A, that felt like a weird line the first time. And then I touched the kettle. And then it's a it weirder line the second time. It was pretty clear he wasn't there. So obviously they don't know that they asked them both the same question. And they gave the same yeah. story twice. Okay. Kitchen. He usually sits in there to have a cup of tea and read his paper. He wasn't there. I was just exhausted. So I lay down on the bed. It's the same goddamn story. How far apart are they? 6.30. Like the no, it's like a week. Great. Oh, you know, it's the next day. Yeah. The last day of June. First day of... Yeah, June's a 30-day month. Uh, I think so. And uh, yeah, so it's the next day. They asked the same question again, and she told the same story. You know, to an extent that normal people don't do. She has two cups of coffee. Um, the other one only has one because she's pregnant. And she said, <laughs> I can only have one cup a day. I want to review their names real quick. Okay. And then I decided to come and see you. Doug and Eleanor. Doug, oh, yeah. Doug and Eleanor. Hey, Doug. Oh, that's the results here. Yeah. I've been mad to Doug and Eleanor's and they're very worried. I feel sorry for them. I got a job to contribute, you know. 
Doug knew someone and I got a job as a dinner lady at the primary school. They said it didn't matter if I could cook or not, just don't poison the kids. <laughs> so you see, it's always been complicated between me and Simon. It's never just been the two of us. There's always been pressure. You like hearing them do the boy voices? <laughs> Don't poison the kids. Girls got a healthy appetite. <laughs> oh boy, sound like this. this. Is my boy voice. Boy sound like this. They sound like a boy. I'm hop. Um, I hoover my dust every week. I mean, maybe less. I once asked Elena how often I should dust, and she said, "If people ask, tell them you do it once a week. But every few weeks is okay." I think she was just trying to make me feel better. I mean, when I was there, she was hoovering every day in a ran an ordered house. You know how that generation is putting on a brave front. Keep mm. calm and carry on. She has secret stashes of cigarettes. Doug doesn't even know she smokes. When I was there, I saw her. She has these sort of porcelain vases, ornamental, next to the Reader's Digest books cigarettes inside and she still has them I mean, last time I was there I looked in a vase there was a fresh pack I mean all those years of marriage and she still has a secret like that you should look up a secret, secret after this yeah strong one though huh so paint spatter sh top should be Hannah both because she has multiple coffees and she's prop the tattoo would probably show. Mm. Are, you, are you still trying to keep a, t a table of them? I am, but it's it's, it's hard, right? so confusing because we're going back and forth on if we think they're like faking each other's. Yeah. 1984. It was an awful year in the end. We were living at Doug and Eleanor's. I lost the baby at the end of spring and my parents died in the summer. It was a hot summer, a heat wave. So when they discovered the bodies, it was just awful. <laughs> because of the circumstances, them dying together like that, they brought in a lot of police. A forensic entomologist. I had to look that up. It was because of the heat. Bugs. So now we have a date. It was 1984 when the miscarriage happened and her parents died. Mm. So her old baby stuff is 10 years old, apparently. Uh, but also the tattoo didn't exist yet, which doesn't necessarily matter. But I'm just remembering the fact that the tattoo is 8 years old, but the, that bad year was 10 years ago. Because it's 94 now. Hmm. Now, air quotes, is in like <laughs> the now that the tapes are, because now, now is like maybe 2020. For com this computer doesn't look suited to that at all. Maybe this, uh, it's, I don't know. I've worked at a government agency and like, <laughs> shit doesn't change. <laughs> shit just sits there. Secret? Confession. It was supposed to be a secret. Just because Simon is dead, it doesn't mean I have to give up all his secrets. It doesn't have anything to do with what happened to Simon. No one murdered my husband because he cheated his expenses for a romantic weekend in Oxford. Oxford. I'll have to check out Oxford. Oh yeah, what, what the was fuck that? is she talking about? When we weren't together, we'd send secret messages by tapping out a code that we'd learn from a book. <laughs> there we go. Uh, the not code. The not code. Something prisoners of war would use. Why'd she do it again? When we weren't together, we'd send secret messages uh -oh. by tapping out a code that we'd learned from a book. The not code. Something prisoners of war would use. We'd tap them out on radiator pipes or the attic floor.
Bought a cat anyway. <laughs> what a great ending to the story. <laughs> So she was doing the not code to herself. Yeah. But it might have been just out of habit, not necessarily because she's, like, got an identity uh, disorder. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, the tattoo is fucking up my idea that it's a fucking... Yeah, it's hard for them to be the same person if they have a tattoo that's magically reappearing. Gosh dang it. I, thought, probably, I, well, I probably, thought I had it. They're probably two people. Um, Oxford. Oxford. Oxfordshire. Oxford. There was a conference, something to do with double glazing. In Oxford. Double glazing, wow, exciting. Yeah, fun. Are you sure? What would you be doing in Oxford if there was no conference? I remember calling him. He said it was boring and he spent most of the time at the bar. Um. Hmm. The bar where, no. Well, no, wait. Uh, she said, she said something about her husband, but she's Eve though. So yeah. why is she calling Simon her husband? Uh, the. I, I don't think we're supposed to know that that's Eve, or I don't think they know that that's Eve. I think Tattoo Girl's supposed to be Hannah. I think that this might be the only person who's supposed to be Hannah. I mean, I mean, supposed to be Eve, that they know is Eve. I think every other interview, they think it's Hannah. And I think they think this person's Eve, and that's it. This is supposed to be her. It's like, oh, yes, I'm her sister. Would you like to interview me? Oh. I think every well, other no, no, version oh. of her, we're figuring out which one Wait, no, we no. think each one is, but no. I think they're all Hannah. No, here's the reason why I'm confused then. I, I don't, so, I don't, well, supposed to be Hannah, I mean. I had to remember why I was confused. Because she says she met Simon at a bar. He said, I can guess your name because, guess my name because of my tattoo. He said that he, I looked like his wife. Yeah. So that's the one he met second. Yeah. So he already has a wife that's Hannah. Yeah. That's Eve is the tattoo one. Yeah. Yeah, his wife was always Hannah. Yeah, but it, why is Eve saying that that's her husband? Who said that? It, earlier she said... I thought it was Blue Shirt Tattoo that said it was that it was her husband. That's what I'm saying. Blue Shirt Tattoo is Eve impersonating Hannah. Like, we're figuring out that it's Hannah... I mean, we're, we're figuring out that it's Eve, but I'm pretty sure that every single interview was supposed to be Hannah from the cop's perspective, except this final one where she looks like a mental institution patient or something. The one where she's got her white shirt on. Well, why I did, think that the white shirt is say, the only one that the police think is Eve. Why would she say to the police, he guessed my name because of my tattoo? Because she's bad at hide, keeping track of how she's supposed to hide the tattoo. <laughs> well, she could say, oh, I, I just got the tattoo because I like it. But she says, no, he guessed my name because of my tattoo. But she says that at this, 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 this picture on top, that version of Eve is the person who says that. No. She's not pretending to be Hannah. No. The person who said she guessed my name because of my tattoo points at the tattoo. No. She points at her sleeve. Eve meets Simon. She points at her sleeve where the tattoo is. Well, then the other one can't pretend that she's Hannah because they, they know Eve is the one with the tattoo. I'm here for my tattoo. See? <laughs> yeah, but like... It was a palindrome. Like, that would impress me. The, the person who met Simon is Eve at the, at the bar. The yeah, but he already had a wife. Yeah, who was... Yeah, she was, she was already married to Hannah. That doesn't, conflict, that doesn't conflict with anything. But why is the one with the tattoo saying, My husband about Simon. Like I said, the one with the tattoo, with the exposed open tattoo, is blue shirt with a tattoo. Yeah. That's Eve pretending to be Hannah, so she ha so she's playing a character who's married to Simon. Whenever Eve is pretending to be Hannah, she has to be pretend to be Hannah, so she has to pretend to be married to Simon, because Sa Hannah is married to Simon. 
we know that light blue shirt with the tattoo is Eve, but they don't know that. Because they've never met Eve yet. Because as far as I can tell, the first interview with Eve is the final interview, which is this so one. So I guess the only thing that would save this would be the timeline of that. Because it just... It, save what? How, how she could tell the police that her name... Basically, how she could tell the police that her name basically is Eve. And still say that she's married to Simon. Both those statements come from the person with the tattoo. Yeah, but it's a, I think that's a mistake on her part. That's a really bad like, mistake. Like, she's making the mistake of, like... Well, yeah, she made a mistake the moment that she came in with an exposed tattoo that day that, with the blue shirt. But she even told them that it was eight years old. you think she would have lied and said, oh, I just got this or something? Yeah. Well, at the time, she doesn't say... That she, at the time, she just says, oh, the tattoo? I got to express my individuality. Well, she said, I got it eight years ago. She said she got it eight years ago in this interview up top, where she's Eve. So that, that's what I'm saying. The only thing that saves a lot of this would be the timeline. The fact that the one with the white shirt, all of these interviews come later. Because everything, that the, all those inconsistencies only make sense if at this point the police know that they're different people. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty convinced that they, that they know a white shirt is Eve. But at what, at Whether or not they ever, point, they ever figured out that they were different people along the way. At what point does the switch off happen? I wonder. The te- the, the switch point, off of them knowing yeah, or of them, of them switching? Of them knowing. I'm of the opinion that every single interview they think is Hannah except the white shirt, which they think is Eve. Well, if they look back at any of the old ones, they could figure it out. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, the fucking, it was a cold case, and then, like, the Y2K happened, so this never got solved. Like, that's the throwaway line about, <laughs> how, about why this, like, this is a cold case that got, like, half worked on and, and abandoned. So I, th- I think they, they didn't pick up on that discrepancy. Also keep in mind that back then they had to sit there and like go through them manually with like tapes and like watch them from front to back in chronological order on like physical tapes and everything. And I think that they it might have been less obvious to pick up on that particular detail when they're not actively jumping back and forth like we are. Like, oh, wait, didn't she have an interview? Didn't she have a tattoo three interviews ago? Well, I think you, you really think if they just watched it from front to back, they'd be like, oh, yeah, she has yeah. a black eye in this one. Oh, wait, she doesn't have a black eye in this next one. Yeah, but she explains why she doesn't have a black eye, because that stood out to them when they were interviewing it. I they, just they, feel they really thought to ask well. about it. Yeah, she throws that. She has the dumb line. I mean, it's not supposed to be an impossible to solve case. It's a video game you're supposed to beat in like three hours. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, there's going to be a limit on, on the difficulty. But uh, yeah, but that, I think that's what's going on. Did you, progress but there's still a lot anything from Eleanor that doesn't say Doug there you go yes I speak with Eleanor at least once a day not that there's anything much to say (laughs) she just spills coffee on herself and that's it that's the whole fucking clue (laughs) Got an achievement, spilled coffee. <laughs> <laughs> nope, that's the only time the water is ever... Fuck. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Fuck set... Yeah, because... Oh, so is... there's the end... There's more of the coffee one. The third yeah. one's like a continuation. Yeah. <laughs> it is. <laughs> no, I'm okay. Why is that a separate clip? <laughs> what what reason do they have to? And they, the, said, they said that these are split up so they can be documented with tags for so they can be submitted for ev- for evidence to the trial. Why is that extra seven seconds its own clip? Like that's important <laughs> why information. Would you, why would you, why isn't that just the same clip as the previous one? Can I leave? Are you going to arrest me? No. They'd laugh you out of the building. A lawyer would make mincemeat of you. That's the black shirt lady again. Mm. We, we haven't seen a lot of her. Is this next? Yeah, it's immediately next. Are you arresting me? No. Fuck off. <laughs> Open the store. Turns out that fucks come in pairs. <laughs> they they usually the, do. There's there's a bunch of fuck doublets. <laughs> There's a couplets of, of fucks. <laughs> um, maybe look up uh, l- arrest or lawyer. 
There's a lot of those. There we go. Like I said, I think I was popping out to get something, ran out of something, had to grab something. The ticket. Mm -hmm. I sometimes drive too fast. If you want, you can arrest me for that. Sassy. Damn. Ballsy. This is a nice of them. This is the start. Oh, hey. This is where you take people when it's time to arrest them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sassy. Yes. No, no. What are you going to arrest me for? That's a bad idea. And then she says something later where she's like, I actually do want a lawyer now. Can you arrest someone who doesn't exist? Ooh. Can you arrest someone who doesn't exist? Yes. I understand my rights. No, I don't need a lawyer. Why are these spliced so heavily? All <laughs> this right. is so nonsense. Uh, imaginary. There you go. No, nope. oh, only, uh, only one mention of the imaginary friend, which you've already seen. Did we already look up uh, like twins or like um? Ooh, four. Twins. <laughs> really? Are you really asking me that question? <laughs> yes. That means it's extra true. Yeah, we really are asking. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? Twins. Why is that a separate clip? <laughs> oh gosh, uh, scary, scary, hey, scary, 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 Hello, scary, scary. Florence took me home with her. Mother hadn't been expecting twins and had a healthy baby. I guess she was just happy for Florence to clean up. Twins and had a healthy baby. I guess she was just happy for Florence to clean up take away the evidence that this was anything but a happy occasion. Whoa. <laughs> she wasn't expecting twins. She didn't want she twins. Had, and she had a healthy baby. So Hannah was the healthy baby and Eve was like the sick one that she thought was going to just go away and never come up again, but actually somehow got reincorporated into like their life. Look, okay, so we'll look up the next one, and then we're gonna look up Florence. Yeah, Florence. There were always princes and princesses. They were the special people, more important than the other characters in their stories. We knew we were like that. Twins. Magical. We were the princesses. We had a poster of Princess Diana from the newspaper up in our attic. Had a pride of place. And underneath we used to put all our special things. When her engagement was announced, we were obsessed with everything she did. And later, when her life went so bad, we felt for her. Her divorce last year just kind of drew a line under things. You know, Princess Diana was still alive, right? Yeah, at the time. That's weird. almost weird to think about. It is weird. 